I just want to show you my new rose bush. It has been opening up and these are just adorable. That's the first bloom. And then here's some of the second blooms. And, and then it just looks so pretty. This is my new rose bush and it is now opening up. It is so pretty. It's called uh, Brinda Bell Roses. Time to smell the roses. Brinda Bell First Lady to be specific. Mm. And uh, it is a new addition to my garden. I just really love how this rose turned out it's different from my other roses and it's just the perfect color hello and welcome to Catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together well it is the last Sunday in June and the garden is looking so beautiful on both sides everything has just been growing we've had a really nice warm day so it's caused things to open up check out my forget-me-nots that we seeded here what a beautiful blue and it's catching on with the blue of the batches buttons further down the bed and then on the other side this side has just come alive with all of the different um, perennials and annuals shrubs I'm just so excited to see uh, the beautiful roses. This is my Pinkabelle rose, which has a lot of blooms on it, and soon it will just be so filled with flowers. My hibiscus are doing really great back there, growing tall and uh, making it through the tomato cages, which I'm using it as a cage to to keep them from you know just spraying out all over the place I'm just pleased with this side garden here now this you may be asking what is this this is love lies bleeding and I actually uh, planted this from seed with the burpee seed pack from the burpee seed pack that I had gotten earlier in the year and I actually planted this using the winter bottle sowing method and in doing so they were all together so many small little seedlings that I just said let me just put the whole bunch and just put just put it in the ground and um, if I need to weed them or you know you know separate them I can do so but I just love the way that they're growing here in the garden and how they look so well with the daylilies that the coloring of the center of this um, love lies bleeding goes very well with the daylilies which are opened now in the garden also the coloring here of the spirea that is now flowering 
and the purple perella plant I'm just leaving it there because it it just works well with that spirea the leaves of the purple perella and the spirea look great together and also with these annuals that I planted here I just like this whole space very very attractive it's very very attractive if you notice that this um, spirea the leaves of the coloring of the the yellow and then the flower um, that kind of idea is also in the daylilies and my chamomile chamomile the flowers are so pretty that it makes it difficult for me to want to cut the flowers <laughs> you know, and, and use them for tea isn't that terrible but they're growing so well here I just had to capture this for you so that you can see what the garden looks like at the end of June my um, oak leaf hydrangea bush isn't that beautiful the flowers are are so thick and beautiful there in the bed it's just wonderful and my David Austin Rose Olivia has some buds on it so maybe I will get a flower or two or maybe more hopefully the marigolds that I had seeded in the pot are coming up and look at that the elephant ears look so good along with the strawberries and strawberry patch everything's just looking really really nice I love my hydrangea here little limelight spitfire or something like that <laughs> and also beside it that sedum beside it they're doing very well I wanted to show you the blooms on my new rose bush it was flowering so well this morning but I moved it from a shaded location and put it here in the Sun and uh, it kind of dried out the flowers but I think they're looking really really pretty here this is just a really nice uh, color and it goes well with the spirea so I think it was a good buy a good purchase And then because it's a more deeper color, it uh, blends well with the other roses on the other side, other side of the, the bed, the pathway here. My blue bachelor buttons working along with the forget-me-nots and then the zinnia. Azinia, what is that? Cosmos, Cosmos, look at the Cosmos. Yeah, the Zinnias are starting to show some sign of flower there. I'm excited about that. I love Zinnias. I think they're an underrated plant. I think they're so beautiful. I love Zinnias. And I know some people make some, you know, they have different hybrids and some special ones but I just like the even just the um, most simple ones I think they're just so beautiful then here I have um, my dead nettle which is um, fading and the roses um, they are fading too but they're still beautiful look at this one And they will continue to bloom off and on. Now, behind here, this is another of the rose bushes, the same one. I have, they're two different rose bushes, uh, but the same, mother of pearl. And they look, they look good. And behind that is the, the fig tree, the fig plants in the pots that I had there from 
over um, the winter that I um, grew from cuttings and they look happy as well. I am pleased. I can't wait for these zinnias to open up. Look at that. I'm going to have a lot of flowers. Very pretty. And then here, yeah, this is the time for the astilbe. And it's fully open. Very pretty, very pretty. I want the astilbe to continue to move down this pathway to fill this spot and it will um, right now it's this size and these are annuals the cosmos and the zinnias the pan, um, petunias and the other red the red plant i can't remember right now what's named but so this will hopefully fill this whole space as it gets larger and larger but it's all working together looking really good together and then my cosmos so um, this is the color of the cosmos I have here planted some um, marigolds begonias I think that's what they are begonias yeah yes a little still be plant here and this this is a small rose bush and it's growing on its own. Um, it's so pretty. It's a miniature rose. It's growing on its own stock, its own rootstock. So um, it survives, and it grows back from uh, from the root. Now this is what I'm excited about. Look at this, my elephant ear, and it's and producing its own water and everything. This is from last year. So I hope that it'll grow nice and big there. And this is one of the squash plants. It's just taking over here. About to fill in the space. I have back here Cleome and an Acana. Um, but yeah, but this is what is what is happening in this garden. This is where all the color is in the garden. The can is coming. I love this geranium. Definitely going to save this, these geraniums for next year. And I might even take some cuttings to see if I can start some, some plants. Because they're so pretty. It's called salmon. Salmon. Now, I don't know what this is. I seeded this. I just threw the seeds in. I know it's a good plant. Um, I think it's calendula. We shall see. But, um, yeah, it's keeping it company right now. Now, this is Pinkabell. And as you can see, the main rose has pretty much bloomed. So, I'm going to just pull it out so that the others can have some space here yep just like that <laughs> see now how that looks you get the others will not now be able to bloom out and have room to show their beauty I'll come back and cut and snip this when I have some shears in my hand. And here's the other one. This one doesn't look so bad, so I'll let this one stay. But look at all these beautiful blooms. And I just love the color. Just very, very pretty. A very pretty rose. Now, I did plant some squash plants here, um, or winter squash. So, uh, what I'm hoping is, is that they will just trail up onto this shrub, and um, that will be like a trellis for them.
Yeah, but this is the daylily time. And the, I love these daylilies. No matter how many times I've tried to dig them up and remove them, you just, if you leave a root, it's going to come back and it's going to multiply. So it's a true perennial. And all the way down the side there, you can see them in the distance. What uh, all, the other thing that is also blooming is um, or flowering is the hostas, and they're going to have nice little purple lavender-like flowers, which will work well with everything that's here in this side. I'm just very excited about this whole area. Um, it is my happy spot. I come out here in the morning and just check it out when everything is fresh and it's quiet. I'm just wanting to see what's new. And every it doesn't surprise me. Every time I come out, something new is blooming and opening up. But I do love the coloring. I love how it's just changing and developing. And um, I'm glad that I, everything that I bought and have in this garden right now, I'm very happy with. Uh, it's just taking on a very pretty, full, lush, productive appearance. I'm excited about the bee balm. Though. When the bee balm comes, that's gonna be even some more color added to the garden. And uh, the other plants, I'm looking forward to my hibiscus over there opening up. And uh, I have hydrangeas there. Um, it's just, just beautiful, just beautiful. And the smell, uh, so perfumey and um, and you know what is, I think, giving this beautiful, sweet perfume smell is um, these, this plant right here. Milkweed. This is a native milkweed. Uh, the butterflies love it. The monarch butterflies love the milkweed. And um, it has a nice fragrance really is nice and I like it growing up amongst the daylilies here and then on this side is my vegetable one of our vegetable patches well I just seeded some beans the short uh, string beans and look they are growing I think I I put them in this container about four days ago and now I have beans coming up and uh, the beans are from the Dollar Tree my one of my 25 cent Dollar Tree seeds and also some seeds that I saved from last year as well the beans so we'll, we'll have to see what comes of that and then I have my different squash and the corn. What I want to show you is here, I planted a row of corn. And that corn was from last year. I saved the seeds and uh, I just planted those that corn and they are coming up. So we have three successions. I have my first uh, group of seeds there. Then I have my second group here. Actually, I have four. Then the, this next inner one here. And then finally, this row. Mm. So I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. And then I have these two squash. I think that is porcelain vine. Um, porcelain doll squash that one and this one the two larger ones and this soil here is very rich and so they grew out really quickly here the squash mm. so we'll see how this all turns out it's going to be full and lush and in these pots are some 
mint, some um, herbs. Let's see, that's hyssop, hyssop in this container, and mountain mint in the other container. And as you can see, I still have some more squash to plant. I have to find a spot for them <laughs> over there in the corner. So right here, I have my tomatoes. I have my uh, 100s cherry tomatoes. And then I have another one, the um, Sun Glory. I think it's called Sun Glory. Let's see if I can find the tab. Um, I don't see this tab, but anyway, it's like a, a cherry tomato here. These two, three actually, a cherry, like cherry-like tomatoes. One is 100s, I know, the uh, sweet 100s. And the other one is sun. I think it's a yellow, yellow orange one. Um, I don't see the tag, but anyway, that's what's there. Now, what I did was I planted. Excuse me. Here in this space, I also planted some of the mustard greens here. So we have mustard greens that are growing up, um, and some of the other like the bok choy there and other greens that are growing underneath um, along with the tomatoes and, and the squash and uh, they are going to seed so when they do go to seed i'm going to save the seeds and use the seeds to um, plant some more but these tomatoes are doing well. This is the Roma to tomato here, and I'm going to have to um, just direct them and help them to use the cages here. But right now it's just so pretty. I just like a lush, full looking garden. Right now, my Stella d'Ora daylilies. Uh, have bloomed and are blooming. They're about to finish because this is in the evening that I am recording this. And then you can see the bluebells. I planted them last year from seed with my Dollar Tree seeds. And look at how beautiful they, they appear in this light. I have some more tomatoes lining here and um, right here was my salad bowl <laughs> they are now turning uh, and about to flower to seed uh, but I still eat the leaves anyway I still come through and eat some of the leaves here but look at this my corn <laughs> oh, right here in this bed on this trellis I am uh, planting out some of the cucumbers and I do have a couple of cucumbers in the on the deck in pots that I'm going to plant here but right now they're growing from seed oops you can see that the cucumbers there planted them out from seed and I want them to come up on the trellis so that when I'm walking through here I can pick a cucumber from my salad along with my other greens now here are the blue blueberry my blueberry bush this morning I came out and picked the blueberries before the birds would get them and I got a nice handful of blueberries I shared them with my husband he was really impressed with the flavor of the blueberries and then here, this cat carrot flower. I just love the architectural look of them. 
and uh, I want that to go to seed too. Save some of my carrot seeds as well. Finally, 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 my snapdragons are flowering here. Um, and I do love snapdragons. I love eating them. The snap peas. We've been growing up and uh, they're going to develop pods. And I'll be able to eat the peas. Right here I have my cabbages three cabbages and the rest are collie, collard greens growing. I have also um, tomatoes. I th think those are sweet 100 tomatoes. Uh, and I have underplanted the cabbage, these marigolds. I have here oregano in the container and also cinnamon basil this is also cinnamon basil right there that i'm that i planted from seed and then i interspersed it with some of the mustard greens too so this is a cool area and uh, they will have a chance to get larger last a little longer hopefully Can you believe it? Soon we will be in July. Oh my, we have to enjoy. We have to enjoy every single moment. Look at this bumblebee. Oh, these are bluebells that have seeded themselves. I think I did either seeded some of them here or planted one and they came back and self sowed right there. Those white moths are not good for the garden, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I have this beautiful planter. Now, I really love my planter. It's looking so good. Let me take this. Now I can say it's looking so good. I did get one rose for my curly, curly red rose. Mm. It died back so hard I had to cut it back and it grew, which it, I'm so pleased. And so I have one beautiful bloom here.
For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.